Hey. Hey, Shrek, what you doing here? Hi, are you looking to make epic VFX shots like this with 3D tracking? Well, stay tuned. Alright, so uh, first thing we're going to need to do is uh, import our footage, so we're going to go ahead and grab that and just plop that bad boy right in, let that uh, import, by the way this is voiceover, so I'm just uh, commenting over this video. So we got our footage, uh, so let's go ahead and get something that we're going to track to our footage, so uh, let's look for some Shrek on green screen. That's not what we want. Let's try this. Oof. Yep. That's a solid how copy. And uh, let's go ahead and grab this so we can uh, get Obama. That should work fine. Yep. Oh, all right. And uh, let's go ahead and bring our footage in and uh, key it. So let's just, yep, key that right up. And. Ah, geez, what was I doing? I don't even remember. Whatever. Okay, well, we got our footage. Now let's uh, just drag 3D Tracker on. And uh, it takes a while, so I skipped that. Now, uh, now that we have our points, we are uh, gonna look around. See what we got. Triangulate the coordinates. This looks good. So I uh, create a solid and a camera. And uh, I sometimes just to demonstrate that it's working. I like to add uh, the grid effect to a solid. And uh, we're just gonna stretch that bad boy out. Just stretch them. Yep, that looks good. A little wide boy and. All right, scrub through the footage. That's looking like a pretty clean track. I mean, was there a weird grid on my desk? I don't honestly remember at this point. Okay, so now uh, you're gonna wanna copy the position coordinates of your solid and uh, just paste it onto whatever object you're trying to track. And you can mess around with scaling and the anchor stuff, but uh, be careful when you're messing with the position because sometimes that really messes up. And by the way, you have to make sure your layer is 3D uh, to work with the 3D tracker. Um, but yeah, be careful if you're gonna mess around with the position coordinates because that will sometimes really mess things up because it's always trying to move your layer in 3D space relative to the camera. So if it's in a weird spot, it's, it's, it's gonna not look right with your footage. All right, so let's look for another point just to demonstrate again the process. Uh, let's get our footage of Obama here. And uh, same thing, copy and paste that position data. And if I remember correctly, this one didn't work out as well. And that's probably because of the, the points I chose to use weren't as precise. So, uh, go ahead and add key light, key that out. Looking nice. Scrub through. As you see, Obama's not quite perfect, but Shrek is staying pretty much right exactly where he's supposed to relative to the book. So that's looking pretty epic. All right, so now uh, we need widescreen bars. So just drag those in on top of all your layers. And uh, then uh, for some reason, my cousin wanted optical flare. So uh, yeah, create a new solid and uh, just drop optical flares right on that bad boy. And there we go, let's look through some of these presets. Shout out to Andrew Kramer, the video co-pilot. Okay, monster flares, pretty epic. So press okay, and then of course, change our blending mode to add. Drop that under some stuff. Oh, and uh, I decided to use normal tracking for the uh, position of the flare, uh, mainly because I felt like it. So, 
Yeah, and also because the flare would just act very weird if it was just wouldn't it really look right. I want I wanted the flare to move around so it looks like it's moving relative to the camera lens. So I'll go ahead and let that bad boy get tracked. Oh yeah, looking nice. Looking clean. Now create a new null object and I'm gonna call that tracker. It's always important to stay organized. So I'll go back, say edit target, tracker, apply x and y coordinates. And let's see. Yep, that looks good. So we're gonna copy and paste the position coordinates and yeah, paste those onto the flare. And yep, paste the, bam, beautiful. So that's looking epic. And uh, now we are gonna, for some reason, my cousin also wanted Shrek to get shot. So I'm not really gonna go over this. It's basically the same process as the other things. And yeah, now you, uh, there you have it. There's how to make this, this shot. Okay, bye. Hey. Hey, Shrek, what you doing here?